two sellout dates this week supporting Typo Negative, one of which we filmed and will be bringing you very soon on the Friday Rock Show here on VH1 from the UK. Welcome, Des, and welcome, Meigs, from Coal Chamber. Thanks for having us, man. Welcome. Well, Welcome. The last you. time we all got together was actually, I think, at the Krang Awards. Yeah, true. And I got System of a Down to interview. Ah. You. Yes, But now true. I've got to do it myself. So how's, what's happening? Uh, well, we just played last night at the Astoria, and we got <coughs> another gig tonight with Typo and Static X, and it was uh, really great last night. Okay, well, and how long are you in Europe for? Uh, oh, for like uh, three more weeks. Yeah, three more weeks. Okay. Yeah. Getting ready yeah, to go to Sweden, go down to Germany. Germany yeah. mm -hmm. just how many times have you been to Europe? I say twice. Really? Twice. Mm, twice. Yeah. Oh, three so, times. For some reason, more. I think three, maybe. Yeah, to play all the way? Festivals and uh, then, then, then did festivals, headlines, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you do in the States this summer? Toured. Toured and toured. toured, toured. And toured. Yeah, we, do it, uh, we did some tours with uh, Slipknot, and that went extremely well. We've yet to see Slipknot over here. Yeah, We've seen the video. Up. I mean, they look like a bunch of nutters, <laughs> to use the English term. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're crazy. They're really cool people, too, and fun to tour with. So. Mm. They, look, they look like serial killers. For and sure. then we did some stuff with Machine Head as well, and they were really cool to hang out with. So. Yeah. yeah. So it's all working well for you. It's all working well. How did you, I mean, we're not going to play it right now, if I want to play an older video first, but how did you get Ozzy to work with you? Uh, well, Sharon Osbourne manages us, so we wanted to do uh, this track by Peter Gabriel, Shock the Monkey, for a long time, and we heard that Ozzy was a big Peter Gabriel fan. So it just worked out, everything worked out. We wanted to do it, he was a Peter Gabriel fan. We asked him, he said, you know, send me your version. We did, and it just worked out really good. Okay, we're not gonna play it first. We're gonna play Loco right, first right. in just a minute. Older track. Now, how, did, how did you get involved with Sharon Osbourne? Well, I mean, uh, we, we've been, um, we had a different management back then, and we did uh, the first Ozfest, and um, she, uh, <clears throat> well, the, she told us that when she saw the video of all the bands that played that night, she said that we were the most intrigue into her so uh she just kept in contact with us and we became friends with her and uh <clears throat> through the years and she just gave us advice and eventually you know we needed new a management thing yeah, yeah. yeah. we and need it, new management and she offered and we were like you know yeah a good deal and it was and definitely had a good yeah. relationship yeah all. good relationship it's more of a family thing you know sure. I mean, we're friends with all the kids and and ozzy of course and everybody so it just worked out really wonderful i had to have a power like that you know sure and she's just vital, so yeah. vital. Also, I had the Smashing Pumpkins have signed to her as well. Yeah, Smashing Pumpkins so just signed to her. That's, that's a good little, um, what do you call it, stable of artists. <laughs> it's a great thing. A Let's great get a bit of music going here on the Friday Rock Show. Here is the track called Loco. No, 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 
Thank you very much. Science of Things, please welcome Butch! <laughs> 